start having some fun with our shadows. So let's just come in a little paintbrush. I want to be on the one that we're working with. And here's our fake little sun. So there's our there's our light source. So pretty much on every one of these shapes, and maybe not all of them, but we're going to basically put in a highlight on one side, and then we're going to flip around, and then we are going to do our shadows on the other one. Now most of the face I think I'm going to do on the, the blue, I think I'm going to do a half tone. So most of our shadows are going to come in on the face itself. So if you have not done this before, this makes our lives ridiculously easy. And our knife tool is just hanging out under our eraser tool. Now again, why we are doing this? Guess what we are avoiding? If you said Pathfinder, you were correct. So all we're going to do is a nice little shape. I can just come on over and I'm going to come in and grab it. Now if you say, hey, I want to modify, let's say this little guy right here. You say, that is just bothering the snot out of me. You can always come in, modify. So say, hey, that curve looks good. Now just pay attention to order. So if I say, hey, bring the front. Now this yellow is in front. So it's still kind of hanging out. But if you ever want to modify those shapes, you're more than welcome to. Okay, I'm going to do it again. So notice I'm grabbing the shape I want. I'm going to come right through. And then notice that I'm going all the way through. So I started all the way through. I'm going to deselect. And did I miss it? Let's see. I missed it. All right. Did that on purpose, right? So if this doesn't work, most of the time is because we didn't go all the way through the shape. So I have it selected. Let's just start way over here. and or I still have it grouped. So that will be our next little process. Good. Where do I think this is gonna hit? Let's do some nose. Now whenever we're doing this, you can also do multiples at a time. So if I say, hey, I want this to come in, I can always grab most of these shapes oh where do I want the Sun to hit let's say it's gonna come right through there now whenever you're doing it just pay attention to if I'm trying to do this shape so notice that first line this would still be open so I do want to make sure that I cl enclose it so it knows where to stop mm, let's just do a little one over here and you can go as big and or as small with the highlights as you want. Most of these are going to be pretty subtle. And it just kind of adds a little something. So let's just say I want a nice smooth. And then notice that the knife tool is trying to make it nice and smooth for you. It does its best. Sometimes it's not perfect. And the answer is yes. If you wanted to do them all at the same time, you would absolutely be able to do that. Let's just say I want that to come through. Notice that I am trying to mimic that shape as best as possible. Knife tool. I want that to go right through. I'm holding down shift. Highlight. Oh, he's looking, looking good. That's going to be a shadow. Good, good, good. Let's say there's going to be one on the cheek. And let's say there will be one up on the ear. And then I might even do a nice little... Let's do a tongue one. And then we can move on to the, uh, the shadows here. So let's do a little cheek. Remember to select the shape you're cutting. Ooh, this is a good example. So I thought I got it, and I missed it. So if it ever says, nope, you didn't get it, more than likely that is the issue. So whenever you get really tight, that one's going to be pretty subtle. Now 
Now this is going to be a standalone shape. And so what I'm looking for is that I basically enclose it. And I know you probably can't see that, but I'm coming all the way through. Do you select? Come on back. A little bit. Now this is a little bit too sharp for me. Good. Now just so you're also aware, so notice that they've got these big, long, goofy lines. I can come in, I can unite those. And so if I wanted to modify where that bend is, now I don't have all those weird... I'm just seeing if I can mimic that. Good. Even a little two would be kind of cute on that one too. All right, let's do some shadows. So since it's hitting on this one, pretty much anything else, we also are going to put some drop shadows or cast shadows in. And before I do it, I just noticed that I want to do that one again. It is not liking me. I'm trying to rush. Shame, shame. Nice and light. Good. All right, shadow time. Now, I am thinking on one side of this face, so I'm going to pretend that there's a little bit of more of a shadow coming through on this side. So notice I've grabbed the face. I'm going to come through here. Good. So I can combine shapes. That's what we're kind of doing here. Drop that down. Now, if I ever overlap shapes, just pay attention to then in case we could created a new shape that we're able to still color. Grab, grab, grab. I'm holding down shift, by the way. Notice that there was two shapes. And what's nice is you can always come back and switch them out, unite it, and then always come back and do it. So let's do some little tiny guys in here. Shift, shift. I'm just zooming out. Now I want a little bit of a cast shadow under this nose. So notice again, we're grabbing that face shape. And I'm gonna go right through that bottom of the nose, hopefully. Oh man, did that work out nice. So I want that one. Notice I had to enclose it. Otherwise that whole nose shape would be, if it's swinging all the way up, just pay attention to where it's doing it. And I think I want to let's, let's make that dark too. So if I say, hey, I want these all united, all those little strays are bothering me, I can always unite those. Under the mouth, nice little curve. Let's do one under the tongue. Let's do one on the back end of the tongue here. Good. What do you think? I say we do this side of the mouth, this side of the ear. We're getting pretty close to the face being done. I might add a couple more for the whites. And then I say good to go. So I want this to just curl right around. So it's gonna come from here. Let's just make a nice little circle shape. Boom. And you're gonna notice that this is a very simple process. So trying to do all of this with Pathfinder, you guys would be screaming at me. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
Mm-mm-mm. All right, let's get fancy. I want to do... We're going to just go right through. That's going to stay there. Nope. If we're going to do that, if we're going to do it, we're going to need another one. Let's see. There might be a little stray. Oh, oh. Do we have fun yet? Are we having fun yet? That looks good. All right. I might do one right up here, and then, then we can really have some fun, I guess. So that's just going to come right through. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Boom. Let's get rid of our sun. File save. Well, that looks adorable. All right, let's have some fun with some half tunes. And you know what? I say, for the sake of argument, I think that's probably good. I don't think we need to do half tones today. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So we still have this flat color one on the bottom. This is the one I'm going to duplicate. So lockout, we've got shadows, or you can call it highlights, just so everyone knows what's happening. I'm just going to move that one down, and they're literally the exact same, so you don't have to do that, to be honest with you. I'm going to grab everything. I'm just basically, let's just hide these so you know what I'm doing. I am basically making a silhouette. That is what's happening right now. So I am going to grab everything blue, shift B, that, you know what that means, we forgot to color the eyeball, that's what that means, grab everything and I am going to unite, while we are thinking about it, we are going to need to, I'm just locking it out. I'm going to come in. I am going to go to Object Live Paint. Click on K. Go to your whites. There you go. There you go. Now we can lock it out. So now everything is back to normal. I will probably do some little grays in here, but I think we're uh, past the time, so let's keep it moving. Now what I am going to do is I would like to put in our text and I'm just going to go blah. Bum, 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 bum. I am going to use bada boom. Let's color this one blue. Looking good. Now I'm going to do a little bit of an effect on it. Let's try an arc. Just want to see which direction I want this thing to go. And if it, you haven't played around with these, just play around with them. This is totally just guess and check right now. I wish there was a more fancy way. If you want to try arc. Looking good. I'm going to go object expand. And I just want that to see how nice that round good. Let's just see if we can tuck it right in that ear right there. Let's go a little bit darker. There we go. 
All right, notice I still have this layer locked out. I am on my flat color layer. So I am gonna grab everything. Let's just come over to object. I'm gonna drive down to path. I'm gonna do offset path. All right, let's just see how close we came. Bam, 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 bam. Now, all of this is gonna get united, just so you're aware. So what we're looking for is just how far out I want things to go. And I'm gonna round it out. And what I'm looking for is just, is this nice and rounded down at the bottom? All right, looks good. So I'm gonna color this while it is still selected, kind of our color face shape. So I wanted that to be a little bit darker. Background is gonna be a little bit more of a cream. I am going to and then just pay attention. We are going to unite. Next, I'm going to send to back. Now everything is good. So if you thought that was looking all goofy, now we are good to go. Let's come over to our rectangle. Let's just go cream with it. Any type of rectangle will do. Right click, arrange, send to back. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now we are just looking at, did something move on us? I'm gonna lock that out. No, I'm just ungrouping, ungrouping. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. You guys ready? Make our lives simple. Remember that fun little duplicate layer? Boop, there was it. That was it, make our life easy. If you wanted to clean it up officially, I would just get rid of this so that middle value just goes all the way through. So right now there's a little bit of a cut all you need to do is basically modify that up a little bit. All right, zoom. File save. Now my final, just so you can kind of see my thought process, I might put a little bit of a shadow on the ear here. I might come back in and add a little bit of a gray on the teeth as well as on that eyeball. But other than that, I think we pretty much nailed it. If you see a half tone, I might come back in and do that, but I don't really think I will. I think we just nailed a nice little monkey tutorial. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, just so you guys are aware, I do read the comments. So if you are struggling with anything going through it, I try and get back to you as soon as you can uh, or I can. So if you are working on it, uh, definitely do that. Again, all of the uh, comments are usually read by my students. So thank you for staying positive and not cursing on there. I do appreciate that. And uh, keep your eye out for more tutorials. I have a bunch of playlists and more specific uh, classes kind of coming up that are going to be following a specific theme. So I am excited to share those. So thanks for hanging out. I think your monkey will be looking great. And I look forward to sharing on the, my next tutorial.